going to start the recording. Um, so I'm sure some other people will join us as we go along, but thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, we're delighted to have Sarah O'Mahony uh, from Shannon College here with us just to talk about how both DIFC and Shannon College can help you kickstart your career in hospitality management. So we did have one of our former students that was going to join us, Dana, but she can't make it now. So I might try and see if we can link up with her on Instagram um, and do a live chat with her there later this week. So if that happens, I'll let everyone know. Um, we'll have time for questions at the end. So if I could ask that you just um, keep your microphones muted for the presentation and then we can use the chat feature in the webinar just to ask questions and myself and Sarah will be happy to answer anyone's questions at the end. So I hand it over to you, Sarah. Thanks very much, Mary. Um, so as mentioned, my name is Sarah O'Mahony. Um, I'm the School Liaison Officer for Shannon College of Hotel Management. Um, I suppose, firstly, it's it's um, important to mention that Shannon College is a college of NUI Galway. Uh, we amalgamated with the university in 2015, so it means that we are fully owned by the university, we're managed by the university. Um, but I suppose we do still have um, our own identity, our own campus. Um, we're located in in the west southwest of Ireland, and um, so we're about about an hour, or sorry, two about two and a bit hours from from Dublin is where our campus is located. Um, but I'll show you a few pictures of that um, in a little bit, a little bit through, or a, a little bit further on in the presentation. Before I start, I just want to mention that um, I do have a dog in the house. So uh, if he starts barking, um, apologies from Len in advance. Um, I, I hopefully he's uh, um, occupying himself somewhere else for now. But uh, if he does bark, I'm really sorry about the interruption. Um, he usually stops pretty quickly. OK, so um, I suppose I said I'd start off by maybe just talking a little bit about Ireland itself. And I suppose a few things that uh, might interest you that maybe you didn't know about Ireland. Um, there's lots, lots of interesting things about Ireland uh, that uh, you may not have known about. So I suppose here are a couple of pictures that uh, might be familiar or maybe not so familiar to, to people here. Um, and I suppose the top, the top left hand corner, um, the first one, that is uh, the Wild Atlantic Way. And that is uh, it's a coastal drive that you can do in Ireland. Um, and it actually happens to be the longest coastal drive route in the world. So that's something that uh, is quite, quite unique to Ireland. And it's, it's something that a lot of students enjoy traveling around the Wild Atlantic Way while they're, while they're studying in Shannon because um, Claire would make up a big part of that, of that route. Um, the next thing is a pumpkin uh, carved for, for Halloween. Um, that's something that you may not associate with Ireland, but actually the, the whole celebration of Halloween, it is a, it's a pagan, it comes from a, a pagan tradition, a Celtic tradition, um, and it comes from the, the festival of Samhain, which is, is also an Irish um, festival. Uh, the next thing underneath is a very cute looking um, well, it kind of looks like a rabbit, but it's actually a hare. So they have longer legs and longer ears than uh, your typical rabbit. And that is the an the, the national um, animal of Ireland is a hare, uh, not the shamrock, which a lot of people um, will sometimes think. Um, in the middle here, you have you have a harp. That is the national symbol of Ireland. Um, again, something that uh, is very iconic to Ireland. Um, that uh, you may, oh, sorry, that you you may you may have seen before. Uh, down at the bottom, you have a picture of the Oscar Award, which uh, I'm sure lots of you have have seen before. Um, and the White House in America, um, so where the U.S. president actually lives, both um, designed by Irishmen. Um, you also have a picture there of submarine, which you also might be saying, what has that got to do with Ireland? Again, something that was. Uh, the first one was designed again by an Irish person. Um, in the middle um, of those of the White House and the um, submarine, I can't see the corner there, but I think that's where it is on the screen, um, is a picture of a pint of Guinness. Um, again, something that I'm sure nearly every person in the world will have seen at some point. But uh, what you might have known is that there are 10 million pints of Guinness enjoyed every day around the world. So it is uh, it is quite a, quite a popular drink. Um, it, uh, I suppose it holds a, a pretty special part, or place in the heart of a lot of uh, Shannon students because the um, managing director of the Guinness Storehouse, which is a, a big...
lot of graduates that are going to be, um, all of those that maybe, maybe Shannon College of Hotel Management. Um, in Shannon College, we have two business degrees. So we have a Bachelor of Business Studies in International Hotel Management and a Bachelor of Commerce in International. business degrees. Both programs are very um, are very similar for, for the first for the first three years. Um, and then fourth year is when the two of them really really differ quite a bit. But I'll talk you through the layout of the programs and everything like that. But I suppose before I start talking through the layout, um, just to kind of uh, explain I suppose what it is that makes the courses in Shannon a little bit different. Um, and I suppose from my perspective there are four main um, elements that really make us stand out from a lot of other programs that you might be looking at. Um, the first thing is, and I've already mentioned it, is the fact that you are studying for a level eight business degree. And that is something that gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, it gives you lots of different options afterwards. Um, and it also, it also gives you um, a great understanding of how, how the actual hotel business and how hotels actually operate themselves. You know, uh, when you walk in the door of a hotel as a guest, you know, you might see, oh, that it, you know, there's a beautiful lobby, it has a lovely spa that you can't wait to try out, it has a beautiful swimming pool, maybe gorgeous bedrooms. But at the end of the day, a hotel is a business. And the person who is running most likely is in it to make money. So it is really important that the person who's managing the hotel has a business understanding and a business mind, okay, as well as obviously having the, the guest focus as well. Um, the next thing for me that makes our course very special is the fact that we have a 100% employment record. So since we were founded in 1951, every single one of our undergraduate pro, um, students has had a job on graduation day. And that is something that we're very proud of. It's a, it's a record that I think, especially in times like this, is experience. You know, I suppose we're going through um, very uncertain times uh, in, in, in every single industry, but I suppose particularly in hospitality and tourism, because people just aren't, aren't able to travel. Um, but what you need to remember is that this industry has bounced back so many times from lots of different um, issues, lots of, you know, there's been lots of uh, recessions around the world. Uh, lots of different things that have happened that have affected our industry. And it is an industry that bounces back. Um, you know, the last recession that the world would have seen, um, hospitality in Ireland was the first, it was the first industry in tourism. They were the first industries to bounce back. And I think that's something to, to keep in mind as well. And even throughout all of those things, we've managed to retain our 100% employment record. Uh, the third thing that makes our programs special and make them stand out a bit is the fact that they they're very much a combination of practical and theoretical learning so they're not courses that are going to have you sitting in a classroom for the entire time you're studying it's very much a combination of learning the theory behind something but also experience the experiencing the practical elements and actually you know going out and actually doing and and learning by doing which is something that really makes our courses different um, the final thing, and then again, this is one that's not happening at the moment, but it is that opportunity to travel and uh, the opportunity to live and work in different parts of the world. And I think that that's something that really appeals to, to students. Um, I know it's not happening at the moment, but I think, you know, human, humans by nature, we're, we're, we, like to, we like to travel. Uh, we like to explore, we like to see new places, we like to go, you know, meet new people from different places. And I don't think that's something that's going to change. I think that once once it's safe to do so, I think we are going to want to go explore new places, visit new places, live in new countries. Um, you know, and I expect that we, as, as you know, I think we're going to go back to that is what I would expect. And I, I would really hope and I'll definitely be one of those those people that is uh, very eager to get back on a plane and go go traveling again once, as soon as it's safe to do so. Um, 
So um, I suppose maybe we'll, we'll skip that. Uh, we've talked, we'll talk a little bit about graduates later. Um, I suppose just to talk you through a little bit about the actual programs themselves. So as I said, the two programs, apologies, sorry. Somebody passing the house, I'm sorry. Um, so I suppose the first and second year for two programs are identical. So in year one, you're studying. In year two, you're on a 12 month work placement. Um, year three and year four, you're going to be studying again. And at the end of year four, you're going to go on your final work placement. And that's essentially your first job. So it is completely up to you where you want to go at that stage. So just to talk in a little bit of detail um, about the actual programs themselves, or the, the years themselves. Obviously, this is all up in the air a little bit at the moment as to how we're going to deliver um, our modules um, for, for next year, but we're going to try and keep it as close to um, our, our usual um, teaching style as we can, um, but obviously bearing in mind social distancing and different government guidelines that we are going to have to make sure we keep our, our students and our, and our um, staff safe. So year one is a combination of business, practical and language studies. So you're going to start your business studies and that will entail things like your um, uh, management accounting, financial accounting, quantitative methods, principles of management. At the same time as that, you're going to cover five practical areas of the hotel industry. So you're going to cover your accommodation services, which is your housekeeping department, where you will learn how to properly make a bed, how to properly clean a room, um, and you'll also learn the management of that department. Uh, you're going to learn about front office and IT skills. So that's the front desk and the reception of the hotel, how all of that works, and learning about customer service as well in that area. You're going to learn about food science and food safety. So that is learning, um, I suppose, how to keep your guests safe in relation to food um, and cleanliness. And that's something that's going to be a massive part of, of the industry, even more so than it ever has been before after all of this, you know, making sure that we're keeping our guests safe um, in relation to cleanliness and in relation to food. Um, you're then going to go into kitchen um, again, that is where you're going to learn the hands-on practical skills involved in working in a kitchen environment. We have a fully functioning, fully operating kitchen and restaurant in the college, and that's where you're going to spend your time learning about um, learning about kitchen and learning about um, about the restaurant. And in the restaurant, you're learning five-star classical service. So the highest level of service is what we're teaching you in Shannon at all times. We're teaching you lots of different types of service, lots of different styles. Um, and, and all the time you are learning by actually doing. So you're going to be in there, you're learning how to serve um, your lecturers, you're going to be learning to, to serve your, your classmates. Um, but it is very much hands-on practical and that's something that really can appeal to a lot of students is that practical hands-on element. The third element is going to be your language studies. So depending on the level of English you're coming into us at, um, that will de decide whether you continue to, to improve your English ability or if, you st if your English is actually very strong, then you might study intercultural communications. And that's a language or it's a communications module that's taught through English as well. So um, that will de depend on the level of English that you come in at. Then your second year is going to be a 12 month work placement. So you're going to work in a hotel in Ireland for those, those 12 months. Um, for most of our students, they'll work in between three and five departments of the hotel that they're actually working in. You are going to be paid while you're on that placement. And the average salary is just under 20,000 for that year. Um, so it's not a massive salary, but it is enough to, to get by. Um, and I suppose it is, it is you're, you are, you're working in the hotel industry as well. So you are going to be looking at getting tips as well. If you work um, extra hours, you'll get paid for, you know, so there it, it can go above that as well, but that's kind of the average. Um, and this placement is organized by the college. So the placement office will organize that for you. And um, there's just a couple a couple of different hotels that our students are, are working in. Um, well, maybe not at the moment, but usually would be working it at the moment. <clears throat> year three is when you're back in Shannon. And in year three, you're really focusing on your business model. It's definitely more theoretically based in third year. 
Um, but you're still going to have some practical elements and you're still going to keep up your food and beverage studies and learning about all of those practical areas as well. <clears throat> Fourth year is when our two programmes split. So if you're doing the Bachelor of Business Studies degree, you're going to stay in Shannon and continue to do a broad business degree, so covering all aspects of business. And um, this, the, the Bachelor of Business Studies program also focuses a little bit more in that final year on tourism, hospitality, and, and the, the hospitality sector itself, um, rather than business in general. Um, and you'll have the chance to choose different elective subjects in that year as well. And again, those electives, attend, electives tend to be focusing more on the hospitality, hotel, and tourism industries. Um, the Bachelor of Commerce students then, for the fourth year, they will transfer to NUI Galway's main campus. And there they'll spend their final academic year. Um, and on that, during that year, they can choose one um, business module to specialize in marketing, economic finance, specialize in. Okay, that's the big difference between the two programs. At the end of year four, then, for both programs, students will go on their final work placement. And this is an international work placement, and it is completely up to the students uh, where they want to go. The only restrictions really are, I suppose, on um, visa requirements for different countries. But um, the places that are always popular for our students are the likes of um, uh, Canada, um, America, uh, the UAE, the UK, um, Hong Kong, Thailand, China. Um, we have new placements this year. Students were well; they they they're not gone yet, but they're still planning on going to Japan and different places like that. So, and um, they really are all over the world. We also have amazing opportunities here in Ireland for our students. So, um, I don't know if anyone here is interested in golf. Um, Adair Manor is is going to be hosting um, the Ryder Cup in 2026. Um, so that might be something that uh, students might start. Might, might start thinking about at this stage already, yeah, that uh, they might want to place themselves working in a place like that. Um, so it's a, it's a brand new, well, it's not a brand new, it's an old hotel, um, but it's been renovated very recently and have, has an amazing um, golf course. Um, and there's a lot, I've been a lot of celebrities staying there. So Adair Manor, it's worth looking up. It's only about a 40 minute drive from the college. So we have a lot of students that work there part-time as well throughout the course. So we've great opportunities here in Ireland but also also abroad. So depending on where where you're um, where you where you're interested in going, and the way that that works is our partners will come to the college to do presentations, and then our students themselves decide which companies they want to apply for at that stage. So it is completely up to the students. Um, and there's just a couple of examples of uh, some of the other properties that that we're working with around the world. But um, I, I can I can um, maybe share the link, or they're all listed on our website as well. And if you want to have a look at our um, in our perspective, you'll see that as well, our prospectus as well. Um, so then, just to talk to you about um, entry requirements. So um, I suppose Norelli will probably talk you through a little bit more about the way the um, DIFC's um, programs work and and how you know how, how they would actually get benefit you in getting you into a place in Shannon um, but this is just I suppose in general but I might let um, Norelli kind of talk you through how they would work so some students will use their um, their program in DIFC uh, solely for the the um, academic side some might use it solely for the English level that, or the English requirement and some will use it for both so it's a great opportunity to you know in, enhance yourself in both areas and um, and then also obviously to get yourself that place in that course that you're really looking for but I'll let you I'll let um, Norelli talk you through that side of things in a little while and um, the other thing just to mention apart from the academics and the English there is one other element to um, the um, the Shannon, I suppose, application process, and that is the interview process. So we interview every single student that comes to Shannon. Um, the, every student that comes uh, for interview will be um, most most of the interview. Well, this year every interview has happened on on Zoom and on um, on Skype and things like that, but mostly on Zoom. 
Um, uh, usually we would we would meet our anyone who's here in Ireland face to face, but unfortunately this year it's hap it's happening on Zoom. But that's worked pretty well for us as well. So in that interview, it is marked out of three hundred points, and to pass the interview, you need to get a minimum of one hundred and fifty. Um, so you you'll um, once you've made your application to Shannon. Then we would we would also do the interview process, and once you get over 150, then you can move on, and then we'd be looking at the academics and the rest of that side of things. Um, uh, also, just to mention accommodation in Shannon, we're very lucky in Shannon to have guaranteed accommodation for all of our first year students. Um, they live in Bunratty, which is about 10 minutes from the college. Uh, the accommodation it's really nice. They're all three and four bedroom houses and all our current first years before the end of semester, they all had their own bedroom, their own bathroom, and then shared living space with their classmates. So really nice accommodation. Um, it's also, so it's located in between Shannon, where the college is located, um, and Limerick City, which is the closest city. So you're about 10 minutes from, from Limerick and 10 minutes from the college. And there's a good bus service that runs between the two as well. So uh, really nice place to live as well. Um, so uh, these are just a few photos of uh, some students involved in different clubs and societies that happen in the college. Um, this is Limerick City. This is uh, the, the the closest city to our college. Um, so it's the third largest city in Ireland, but uh, still quite small. I think in uh, in terms of world uh, world cities, it's it's still still relatively small. Um, this is the Cliffs of Over. You may have seen that again. Something that we're very lucky to be located very close to. Um, this is it's maybe about a 45 minute drive from the college and would be one of the, the big tourist attractions in, in Ireland to go visit the Cliffs of Moher. Um, and finally, um, um, our student who was supposed to join us today, uh, she just put together a very short, um, I suppose, slideshow of some videos and uh, pictures of her time in, in first year in Shannon. Um, that I'll, I'll finish up by sharing that with you. It's, it's very short um, and it just might give you a bit of an idea of what it's like to be a student in Ireland. So, um, two seconds, and I hopefully this will work for me. Oh, sorry, bit loud. Oh yeah, so I think I think that that's pretty much it from Dana. So Dana actually was a student who um, came to us. She's just finished um, her second year placement, um, and she would have she was with us for first year last year, and the year before that she would have spent with um, with DIFC, so doing her foundation program in Dublin. So um, a student that has experienced both, and I know that she'll she'd be happy to answer any questions that, that you might have on, on either of the programs. Um, so I will um, I will stop sharing my screen now and I will pass you uh, back over to Norelli. Thanks a million for being so uh, so patient and listening to me chatting away for, for so long. Thanks, Sarah. Um, I'm just sharing my screen.
now. I think, can everyone see that? I think so. Okay. Um, yep. So that was that was really informative, um, Sarah, and it's great to see uh, the experiences that students can have during uh, their time at Shannon College, in particular um, the 100% graduate employment at the end, which is a, a huge plus to students coming to study. So, so you've heard about the fantastic degree programs offered by Shannon College. How do you get there? And that's where DIFC can come, um, can help you. More specifically, the International Foundation Year offered by DIFC. So through our placement success, um, our foundation pathways offer a guaranteed university place with one of our partner universities. But not only that, due to the high level of preparation and support that we offer students, 98% of foundation students last year secured their first or second choice university offer. So that, that stands to the quality of the teaching and the support that we offer students to make sure that you are on track to achieve the university place that you're hoping to achieve. We've helped over a thousand students to successfully progress to university over the last 10 years. In fact, 25 of these students have studied or are studying with Shannon College at the moment. So we have a long-standing history with Shannon College um, preparing students to um, undertake their business or commerce degrees. And then when you're with the IFC, you'll make a network of new friends from all over the world. So as you embark on your new study abroad pathway, you'll immediately be establishing a global friend network of friends and contacts that will stay with you long into your career. So by choosing the DIFC foundation pathway, you'll be choosing to study in Ireland's largest independent university foundation provider. And I say independent because it means when connected to lots of universities rather than linked to one university um, individually. So we are the exclusive delivery partner for the NCUK International Foundation Year programs and pre-masters programs, which means that your foundation year qualification will be widely recognised, um, your university placement will be fully supported, and you have guaranteed access to our growing global network of uni NCUK universities. In addition to the NCUK university network, DIFC has strong partnerships with most Irish universities and colleges such as Shannon College, um, so your university options are endless. So one of the key features of the International Foundation Year program is that it's specifically designed by universities for international students, and that's to help give you the right preparation that you need to succeed at university. So it is equivalent to A-levels in terms of level, but it's so much more. It's intensive, so it's a, nine to, a seven to nine month program rather than two years like the A-levels. And it focuses on English language skills, subject knowledge, but also the softer skills needed to be an independent and confident student at university. You'll also be fully supported. So throughout your studies, you'll have weekly tutorials that are focused purely on guiding and supporting you through choosing the right university, guiding through the application and admissions process, and also preparing you for any sorts of um, admission requirements like preparing your personal statement or interviews such as Sarah mentioned in for Shannon College. Why would you need the foundation? As Sarah mentioned, um, there's a few reasons why students would, would study a foundation. The first is your English language skills are not um, at the right level for direct entry. So most universities look for at least an IELTS of six, some are 6.5. So if you have below that, you will need a foundation course in order to upskill in your English language skills. You also might need to improve on your academic subject knowledge. So if you have lower grades in your high school qualification or if your high school qualification isn't recognised for direct entry, you will need to do a foundation. Those students with poorer English language skills will also benefit from um, developing 
the English language skills specific to those academic subjects. So what I mean by that is you may be a strong student um, in all your subjects, but in your native language. So learning to study a subject in English is different just to learning English, and that's where the foundation can help you as well. So this is one of our past students who's in his second year um, with Shannon College, and he has um, written a short testimonial for us um, here. Oh, sorry. Uh, and I actually can't read it now, but so I'll read it for you. Uh, Gratefully, I enjoyed the course as the people there are affable and, enjoy and approachable. It might seem hard in the beginning, but this is where the most challenging part is. I had to step out of my comfort zone and overcome the situation myself. I'm currently studying at Shannon College and on my second year work placement in County Kerry. I will say the first you spent at DIFC was second to none. If you are planning to experience a different culture and exposing new things, just take a leap of faith and join DIFC. You will not regret it. One thing that strikes me with Jonathan's um, testimonial is about stepping out of your comfort zone. And that is something that the study abroad experience offers you. But by choosing um, to start in a foundation program, you're choosing a, a softer jump, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of change for you from studying at home and living with your family to studying abroad. So it's a smaller, close-knit group of friends and, and teachers that you'll be working with, and they're all there to help you adjust to living abroad, living independently, and experiencing a new culture. And that's the benefit of studying with DIFC. So what you will study in the foundation program, as you saw, Shannon College offers business studies um, degrees rather than just a hotel management um, type degree in order for you to have a broader learning experience that focuses on the business of running a hospitality enterprise. So your foundation, you will prepare you for the key topics you'll be covering in this degree, and that's mathematics, business studies, and economics, as well as studying in English for academic purposes to upskill in your English language and presentation skills. So your classes are structured around learning the theoretical subject knowledge but then applying that through interactive class discussions. You'll also be working on developing those soft skills that I mentioned, and they're things like critical thinking, problem solving, presentation skills, and time management. And this is all skills that you'll need in your future hospitality career, um, problem solving, presentation, managing your time. They're all key skills, not only for your university degree, but your career as well. In terms of assessing the program, it is assessed through a combination of coursework, which is worth 30%, and examinations, which is worth 70%. And then they're graded like the A-level, so you receive an A-star, A, B or C grade for your, for your, um, your subjects. Okay, so Sarah touched a little bit on life in Ireland, but in terms of your experience in studying in DIFC in our um, Dublin Centre, we are based on the Griffith College campus, which gives you access to a wide range of clubs and societies through the Griffith College Student Union, all the, all the student facilities that Griffith College offers, including like a student canteen, library, there's large outdoor spaces for you to um, relax in as well but also the vibrant city life of Dublin um, in a small and safe environment for you. Our student services team arrange regular social activities and outings like ice skating, movie nights, um, Halloween parties, um, trips to universities, all sorts of different things, as well as being available for you to help and support you through the transition of living away from your family. So they're also there for um, supporting with any personal issues that you might might be dealing with as well, not just your academic issues. So for entry to the International Foundation Year program, you'll need to have successfully completed your high school certificate and hold a recognised English language test, which is the equivalent of an IELTS 5. Recognised tests include TOEFL or Pearson PTE as well as IELTS, but 
obviously with the situation at the moment, um, this year we will be accepting the Duolingo English test, which you can complete online at home. And this is also accepted for both admission and for students who need to apply for a visa to travel to Ireland. It will be accepted by the visa office as well. So the minimum Duolingo score that's, that would be equivalent to a five IELTS would be 80. So I've also listed just a summary of the high school qualifications, the most common ones accepted, but we do have a full list of country specific um, qualifications. So just get in touch with us if you want to find out if you're eligible to join based on your high school qualifications. So I thought I'd touch briefly on what's happening around our September intake. Um, obviously, with the COVID-19 pandemic, there are a lot of uncertainty across the world about how schools, colleges and universities will manage and deliver their courses. And Sarah kind of mentioned that um, they're dealing with that in, in Shannon College at the moment. So our primary concern is the safety of our staff and students. So we have made the decision um, now to start our September intake online for the first semester. So students will study online from, from their home country from September to December, and then they will travel to Ireland at the beginning of January to continue their class in, in class teaching for the remainder of the course. The situation in Ireland at present is we've been managing um, the spread of COVID-19 quite, quite well. So we're now in, in the, at the beginning of a five phase process of reopening Ireland. And that will see colleges reopen in September. However, it's um, contingent on the number of case, new cases still decreasing um, and no further outbreaks. So the, the likelihood, um, sorry. So for DIFC, however, we need students to be able to travel from abroad. And it's likely that uh, international travel may not be lifted across the world um, by September. So to give certainty to the students in a time of uncertainty, um, we wanted to give them a study program that they can um, sign up to and have and have a commitment from us. So we, that's why we started de uh, decided to start study online. Our students um, have been uh, that are currently with us have been doing the online program for the last two months. They've been doing live classes. So um, at the moment, that's been taking place during uh, working hours in Ireland, but we would look at reviewing this depending on the cohort of students starting um, in September. It also may involve a combination of pre-recorded lectures and online and live online class discussions as well to help you be able to revise the subjects. Uh, to acknowledge that part of the program is online, we are offering all students an automatic scholarship of €2,000 off their tuition fees for the um, September intake. Plus, you'll also have to factor in that you'll save on the cost of accommodation for the first few months of your, as you'll be studying at home. So it is a way of getting a cost saving as well. I've already mentioned that Duolingo will be accepted for both admission and visa purposes. So you can take that at any time. Um, I think it costs around 49 US dollars. Um, and you get a certificate within a couple of days. So it's a great way to get your English test qualification quite quickly. If you are doing a high school certificate where the exams have been cancelled and you will only have predicted grades, then we can accept those. What we will look at for those students is we'll look for your transcripts from the last couple of years just to ensure that you're a consistent standard. Um, and we've been liaising with all our university partners and it won't affect your onward progression to university once you meet the foundation year grades as well. So if you only have predicted grades, don't worry about it setting you back a year or anything like that. You can still progress onto the foundation year program. In terms of our tuition fees for the foundation year and business program, um, the tuition fees are 15,600 euro plus registration. And for September, there'll be a 2,000 euro off um, a scholarship off those fees. So in addition to the tuition fees, students do need to pay the registration and examination fee, which includes your learner protection insurance. Um, you need to pay for your course books and materials, um, which we provide for you, and your medical insurance which is mandatory for all international students coming to study in Ireland. 
Okay, so the process of applying is very simple. You can head over to our website, um, difc.ie, and there is an Apply Now button at the top right-hand corner. When completing the form, you can attach your supporting documents such as your passport, your high school transcripts, and your English language certificate. And it's okay if you don't have the final high school transcripts or your English language certificate yet. You can just provide what you have in terms of progress results and that sort of thing. And we can still review your application and, and issue a conditional offer letter. If you are looking um, for the Shannon College program, you just need to list Shannon College um, and the degree as your first university preference. And that will set you on to our hospitality management pathway. If you're eligible, we'll review your application, we'll issue a conditional offer letter. Um, there is no specific deadline to confirm your place. However, you need to bear in mind a couple of things. We have limited places available this September as we are restricting the number of places um, to be less than normal because we're starting online. And we want to ensure that all our students that are studying online have the appropriate support um, level of support available to them. So we'll be having slightly less numbers than normal. And places are allocated are on a first come, first served basis. Also, once visa offices reopen, there will be a high influx of visa applications going in. So you need to be ready to apply for your visa straight away. We support you with all of this. So once you confirm your place um, with DIFC, we will assist you with collating all your visa documents, um, writing your letters and everything like that, so that you'll be ready to apply for your visa straight away. And then you'll be ready to come and study with DIFC. Okay, that's all we have for you today. Um, I hope that was informative. If anyone has any questions now, um, you can use the chat feature of the webinar and just type in your um, questions and Sarah can come back online and uh, if you have any questions for either of us, ask away. Hi Haruka, how are you? Hi Haruka. <laughs> Okay, so Haruka is asking about the nationality mix at Shannon College. Sarah? Uh, um, yeah, so so uh, it, we are yeah, so we're we're very lucky to have quite a quite a good mix um of nationalities in, in Shannon. Um at the moment we don't have any um Japanese students, so we would absolutely love to have to have um another nationality added to to that dimension um usually we have kind of between 25 um and 30 nationalities on campus uh usually we would have some people from japan or sorry from korea uh, sorry i just said we don't have japan um we have usually china india we have korea uh, we have vietnamese students and um, we always have students from the seychelles islands um, and then we would also have a quite a, a mixed group of European students as well. So we'd often have students from Germany, France, Italy, Spain. Um, we've students from places like um, from some of the the Danish country or from the the Scandinavian countries like Denmark. Um, so yeah, we, we it's it's quite quite a broad mix. Um, and then of course you have your your Irish cohort as well. So uh, and they all tend to mix quite well because. Um, in Shannon, what what we do is we so you'll you'll start off in your main main year. There'll be about a hundred students, um, but we break you down into five different practical groups for year one. So it means in your in your class group, you'll only have about twenty students. So you get to know that group very very quickly, and you get to know them really well. And we always try to mix up. So that there's lots of different nationalities in each group, and um, to make it, you know, to make it varied, and um, and I suppose uh, hospitality itself, it's it's an industry that, that really, you know, it allows you the opportunity to meet people from all over the world, and it's it's always, um, no matter where you work, 
you're going to be working with a, a very mixed um, group of nationalities. I know personally all the hotels that I've worked in, whether they were in Ireland, in America, um, in Switzerland, it was also a re always a really varied uh, group of colleagues that I had and they were always from all over the world. So it, it's a great opportunity to work with people from different nationalities and and it's great that we have the opportunity for you to experience that for the first time in or will actually be the second time um because you did have the same experience in the ifc with a very mixed group as well um you know but it's great to to start that in education and then that continues on throughout your career if you stay in in a career like hospitality it's always very varied group of people and um, so i hope that that helps to to answer um your question Okay. Does anyone else have any questions? Let's give them a minute. Okay. Any Malaysian students? Well, yes, Jonathan, who's one of our past students, is a Malaysian student, so he's definitely there. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, we, we always have a couple of um, Malaysian students in the mix each year. As, as mentioned, yeah, Jonathan is from, um, he's from JB. Um, so he, he's, he's actually back in Malaysia at the moment. He, he had hoped to join as well, but he, uh, he said he's, he's visiting his mom at the moment and she's living in the countryside so far, so didn't have the, have good enough Wi-Fi to join today. Um, yeah, but we will, we always have a handful of, um, of students that are that are from from Malaysia, yeah, every year. Um, so I'm 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 not sure what, uh, which uh, is that which the English test are you? I think that's linked to the SPM English. Now, um, okay, I know sorry. That, um, for for admission to the foundation year, Malaysian students don't need an IELTS. So we would accept the SPM English grade um, if it was a B or above. Um, if it was a C, we would look for them to verify with an IELTS IELTS um, certificate, but otherwise they wouldn't need one. What's what is it for direct entry, Sarah? Do they? Um, so well, I, so I suppose well, we we would recommend for for students to to take the the IELTS the IELTS test if they were coming directly um i suppose we we do we do ask for a foundation program for for students coming well not from the sorry the, not from the spm but the um you most of our students are coming from a foundation program if they are coming from malaysia the majority of them would have done a foundation first um okay. but it is usually IELTS that um that students would take um but of course as you said duolingo this year is um is also going to be accepted and it is the the um it's yeah so that will be accepted for for us as well okay what's important to note there is also if you are doing the foundation program before you progress to shannon college you won't need to do an ielts um our english for academic purposes subject grade will be accepted by shannon for admission um for the english language yes so our our requirement um for your um eap is um a c so yeah. for for access in from from the ifc it would be a c yeah okay anything further any other questions just give it a second in case someone's typing Okay, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, Sarah, um, for joining us today. And thanks to everyone who came along. Um, I hope you found it valuable um, and informative. And um, I'll be sharing this on our YouTube channel so people can go back and, and watch over it if they would like. Okay. Thanks very much, Sarah. And thanks, Mary. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mary. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. 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 Everyone stay safe and see you soon. Oh, absolutely. Hopefully see you soon. Bye.